What's up guys, Tazza here, and today we're going to be teaching you how to root any Android phone with iRoot. So the first thing we're going to be doing is actually going on our phone, going into settings and scroll down to the bottom, and then clicking on about phone. Now here, you're going to see something called your build number. So just tap it seven times, and what you're going to be doing is enabling developer settings. So once you do that, go back into the settings and you're going to see developer options click on developer and make sure that the usb debugging checkbox is enabled once you've done this you can move on to the next step now what you're going now what you want to do is go on and go onto your computer and download the drivers for your phone so to do this, you can go on abddriver.com, which has two drivers for most phones. Click on the ABD driver, ABD driver installer. It's only nine megabytes and it's going to only take a couple seconds to download. Like I said, you can go on abddriver.com slash downloads to download it. And as you can see, it has finished downloading. So once it's done, just go ahead and click on the exe file, run it, and then install the drivers for your phone and make sure your phone is plugged in and of course as you can see drivers are already installed for me which is all good just go ahead and exit and go on the actual root process which is going to be on mgyun.com slash en slash get vroot and here you're going to see the download page for iroot so all i'm going to do is go ahead and download and it's going to download the installer for your root you want to keep the file and it's 4.5 megabytes so it's only going to a couple seconds to download and then once you're done all you want to do is run that file as well as this it's going to be the actual rooting software so i'm going to click on it and it's going to be it's going to open up so i'm just going to click yes make sure my device is plugged in click next 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 and then it's going to install once it's done, you want to launch iRoot, and now it's going to check if my device is plugged in or not. So it's just fine on my device. So it says my phone model list has been updated. I'm going to click OK, and it's going to set everything up itself. So I'm just going to give it a couple seconds. There we go. My phone has now been connected, and it says my Nexus 4 has been connected. Now all you want to do is click the button it says root and it's going to root your device now this process can take about 10 to 20 minutes just sit tight and, and it will download and it will just download everything on its own it's a one click root tutorial so it's really easy and on your phone there's going to be a couple of menus just leave it the way it is it's going to be downloading and rooting it for you it's a really easy process and then once it's done you're going to come up with a screen that says the route has been completed. So that's about it for the tutorial, guys. If you have enjoyed this, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and don't subscribe, mate.